Good afternoon, my name's Edward Lowe, I'm from Edwards in Stratford. And on a beautiful day like today, I'm very proud to be showing you a property called the Old Telephone Exchange, which is based in Ettington. For those of you who are not familiar with Ettington, Ettington is just on the edge of Stratford, it's about a five, ten minute drive. Uh, you've got a number of amenities within the uh, village as well, so you've got a very good shop, uh, there's a good pub, and you've also got a school which has just been rated outstanding by Ofsted, so a real bonus to it. Now this house, I have to say, is a complete one-off. Um, you are all familiar with the phrase that estate agents all too often use, such as unique and um, spacious and deceptive, when actually generally these properties they're applying to nothing of the sort. This one I can tell you is all of those things and more. Um, it was actually called, as you probably have guessed by the name, an old telephone exchange, which was built in the 1950s. Uh, it's been converted now into residential accommodation and it boasts about 1,200 square feet, which as I pan around a minute in your show, you just wouldn't know it from the front. It's a beautiful little property and completely unique. You really do need to come and see this. Um, so a couple of things just to point as I pan the camera around. Great thing about this, you've got lots of off-road parking to the front. It's based off a lane called Kent's Lane, which is just off the main road. So it's a quiet cul-de-sac with no through traffic. And this is what it looks like. So please remember this as you're looking around because uh, it is so deceiving, it's quite unbelievable. Um, you've got a number of access points to this property, so clearly you can come through the front here, so you've got uh, French doors there, or you can come through to the main, which is to the side, as we'll go along. As I say, I think one of the benefits of these video tours is it just adds another dimension, so when you come to see it, you just have a little bit more knowledge about the property, and it just puts it in a different light. So, hallway here, you've got two staircases, so again, another unique feature of this. As you come through to the front room, you've got little store underneath there, which is great. And then here, beautiful sitting room, very light and bright, dual aspect. So you've got the front um, French doors there, so that aspect and the side as well. So lots of light always continuing coming through here. And we go through to sort of the middle section. Again, you can see the other staircase. But again, really proportionally, a very, very good sized room. And then as you come to the back, you've got the kitchen, which again is surprising really. Beautiful kitchen dining room, L-shaped. I'll come through to the side in a minute. You've got very useful little storage area here, so sort of pantry and utility. And then as you come in, I'll pan round to look back the other way. So as you can see, really beautiful space. Loads of entertaining space there. And then just to finish off downstairs, you also have a number of toilets in this property. You've actually got three in total. Uh, so you've got the downstairs bathroom. So it can actually act as a bungalow if you wanted it to. Uh, I think one of the great things about this property, it's got a great deal of versatility. So what you could do if you wanted to, that front room that I showed you, that could convey into a bedroom. And then you've got this as your sitting room and then your kitchen dining room. So you could actually literally ignore the top floor or the first floor and just use it as a bungalow. So it's quite future proof from that point of view. So if you're at that sort of um, age where you're not sure you want to do next, and this could be a real good box ticker here because you don't have to use the first floor, but if you want to, great. But as I say, it's not totally, um, it's really flexible in terms of you can use accommodation over both levels. So we'll go up to the staircase first. So as you come up here, you've got one bedroom this side, and then you've got two over the other wing. So it's three beds in total. So really unique room couple of skylights, loads of light coming in here, storage cupboard here, and then just sort of little little, little area over here, she's got some wash facilities. There's no toilet on this side, uh, we've got wash facilities. Then as you come down this stair, we'll go up the other stairs. The other thing about this is the garden, it's such a fantastic garden as you'll see as we go out. So very light and bright due to this great big skylight that comes in here and just floods light into this area. Then you've got two bedrooms up here, so what's surprise? you've got loads of storage in here. You wouldn't really think it, but actually it's been quite well designed to maximise the space and give you lots of storage. Okay, so as the camera just adjusts for light, it's so bright out there. You've got a good double bed, and then off here you have an ensuite bathroom, which again is quite unique. So I'll just pan around slowly, so you can see you've got the bath, and then toilet. Uh, again, a little bit more store just by that side, just by the toilet. And then if you come over the other side, you've then got another room. I'll just shut the doors coming in, just to give a better sense of the space. So again, as I said, you've got the built-in cupboard, and then you also have another, another bedroom. And then off here, somewhat surprisingly, you have another toilet and basin and then there's sort of a little store. So, as you can see, 
it's so much bigger than you'd think from the front. If you remember that front picture where literally it looks sort of like eight foot wide, it just goes on and on and on towards the back. And I think one of the best features for me certainly is the guard, which we'll go and have a look at now. Because um, you'd sort of expect, because it's conversion, that it would probably be a bit higgledy piggledy. But I think what's quite nice about it, you have got that, but that sort of adds to the charm of it really for me. Um, you've got a northwest facing garden, and because you've got nothing on this left hand side, uh, the sun just doesn't get blocked. So as the camera just adjusts, you can see beautiful garden, incredibly private, um, very low maintenance. So again, it's perfect if, you're, if you enjoy gardening, but you don't really want the labors of it. And then I'll try and get down the side here just to show you, because this gives you a slightly better perspective of how deep the property is. So hopefully you can see it. I know it's not the most attractive shot in the world with a brick, but it just gives you a better understanding of just how deep this property is and it just goes on and on and on. So I have to say, I mean, if you're looking for something a bit quirky and unique, you really are gonna go a long, long way to find something better than this. Um, it's just got loads of charm to it. You know, even the name's great, the old telephone exchange, got a lovely bit of heritage and history there. Um, I, this could be brilliant for a number of the purposes. Holiday Lect comes to Springs to Mine, which is great because in a really popular village here. But as I say, it's really versatile because it could be used as a single accommodation with a bungalow. Obviously you've got the first floor as well, so if guests want to use that. But overall, it's just a really brilliant, quirky, fantastic little property, which is deceptive and it is spacious. So at least we found the one property that does apply to that term. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. There'll be um, the floor plans on our website, which has got all the dimensions, so you can get a better understanding of actually the full size there. Um, thanks for watching. Any questions, please let us know.